Assalamu alaikum. I love Ramadan, but this year I found it really challenging in the days leading up to it because I was overwhelmed by the bombing in Manchester. I felt so much grief and sadness for the victims and the loved ones. And then I felt indescribable anger at the attacker especially because in the same week there were more attacks um, in Indonesia, in the Philippines, also perpetrated in the name of the Islamic State. And then I just, I kept feeling this intense disgust, like, why do they call themselves the Islamic State, right? How could they possibly be inspired by a religion that I call mine too? And then I was humbled by the way the city of Manchester came together and everyone who was just so generous with their help, um, I was just inspired by them, especially the Muslims. And then I felt another wave of anger, disgust and fear at all the voices that were saying, well, what's wrong with all these Muslims? Just lock them up. Where are all the moderate Muslims? Why aren't they speaking up? And then I just felt like shutting down. I felt like closing up, going into a shell. But then the Quran describes Allah as Al-Fattahul Alim, the one who opens all truth, the all-knowing. So the divine name that comes to me this Ramadan is Al-Fattah, the opener. Because to me, fasting is about refraining from certain physical desires, from eating, from drinking, but it's meant to open up a deeper dimension in my relationship with my maker. And that's supposed to be a transformative relationship. It's not meant to be a relationship that makes me shut down or feel like I want to withdraw from the world. So my prayer is for Allah to not let me shut down, for Al-Fattah to open me up, to open my heart, especially when I find it difficult to open it, to still be committed to seeking a better way um, for myself, for creation, for all the people around me, for the world around me and the world to come. And that's my prayer for everyone too. So, Ramadan Mubarak.